بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We're still talking about مخرج uh, the middle of the tongue which has three letters the جيم والشين والياء Last video I explained the مخرج الجيم articulation point of the جيم Today I'm going to talk about Harfu uh, al the uh, the letter Shin. So, like I said last video, that these three letters come out from the exact same area, which is middle of the tongue, what lies opposite to it on the upper palate. This is the the same area. The difference is with the Jim, we said we close the makhraj completely, so nothing can go through. With the Shin, is a bit different. So we lower the tongue a little bit and we leave a gap between the top of the tongue and the upper palate which is Al-Hanak Al-A'la which is the hard palate on the top. Um, another thing that we need to know is the tip of the tongue in the sheen it needs to be right there. So you don't place, a lot of people they place this area on the top or they place it on the bottom and that moves the makhraj from here. So when you touch the middle of the tongue, I mean when you lift the middle of the tongue to the top here and you leave a gap, asha, this area you actually won't feel it. Means uh, it's not touching anywhere; it's just hanging. So if you focus on it really good, you will find that it is hanging in the middle between the upper teeth and the bottom teeth. All right. So we say ash. And focus on here. Make sure it's not asha, ashi, ashu. Don't play. Don't don't get it near the top. And not asha, ashi, ashu. This would take you all the way back here. It would move the makhraj. All right. So um, simple. Today, actually, I'm I'm gonna do two letters, the shin and ya, because it's not that much to it. There's more much to it. More information to add to it when we get to the sifat, inshallah, within all of these letters. So right now the makhraj means the articulation point only that you need to know. Middle of the tongue, lift it up. Ash. And don't, common mistake, people use this area. Asha, ashi, ashu. That brings you a lot of sheen plus sheen plus other sounds that we don't need it. And that is not correct. So it's like you're trying to bring the sheen from here. You would end sha, shi, shu. We don't want that sound. We want sha, shi, shu. And just like I said last time about the lips, there's a little bit of movement. With the lips, the sheen is the same thing. Asha, ashi, ashu. Like again, I am Arab. And when I say it naturally, the upper and bottom lip, naturally they pull a little bit forward. Do not point and do not make it like an O and do not make it like a wow, like a oo sound. It is not. Just a little bit movement and a little bit movement, natural movement. So you can, you know, have a mirror in front of you. Look at the mirror. Make sure you're not pointing, and make sure it's not flat. So it's not asha ashi ashu. Like I'm smiling right now when I'm doing it. Just throws the makhraj away, right? So um, now make sure before you say the letter, bring middle of the tongue this area to the top. Leave a gap. I don't want acha achi achu asha. Let the voice. Let the so the hafushin letter shin has running of the sound and it has um, hams running of the yani the air. It has hams in it. So we have so make sure your voice um, it's going through, nothing is blocking it, and the air is going through, nothing is blocking it. Asha, ashi, ashu. All right. Like moving on to makhraj alia. Same exact um, articulation point. What's the lisan middle of the tongue? What lies opposite to it um, from the uh, on the upper palate? Now the difference between uh, the sheen and jin ya. We said jim closes the makhraj. Sheen leaves a little gap. Ya, you leave a little bit more gap, more gap between the upper between the top of the tongue and the upper palate you leave uh, a bigger gap so the voice can go through without touching anything ayya ya yi yu sha shi shu 
Yeah, ye, you, you have to feel a little bit pressure. Yeah, on the tongue. It's always good to to do a um, shadda. When you do a shadda, you can feel it more like the makhraj. You can feel the tongue more. Ayya, ayyi, ayyu. So we don't say ayya, ayyi, ayyu. That sound is not allowed. What are you doing? Why is this sound happening? You're bringing a little bit air from here, and you're you're bringing a little bit something. It's called shidda from here. What does that mean? That means you're because you're overlifting and overpressing. There's some air, and your voice, the loudness in the voice, what's called the jahad, it's kind of uh, went down a little bit. So therefore, there's some air here. Yeah, air came came in. And um, you have a little bit of the gene because you're overpressing and you're lifting up a little bit more than you're supposed to. Ayyah. It gives you a little bit of the gene, that little bit touch on the top. So just separate, like when you say English, you have to go. Can you come with me? You don't say, can you, you. Not that. We don't need that. Can you. Uh, this is for you. When you say um uh, e, e, uh, like egg yolk or something. You don't say yolk. You don't say you. You don't say yams. You say yam. You say, you know. Uh, so the all is that is caused by the overlifting of the middle of the tongue to the top, which take you a little bit to the gym. Gives you a little bit of the gym, that touching sound. So we want ya, ye, you. Like yes. You say yes or yes. Right? So ayya. Ayyi, ayyu. Common mistake people do it from here. Ayya, ayyi, ayyu. They touch this area right here. And we don't want to touch this area. So make sure you come forward in the middle. Alright? This is basically it for now. We will talk about more common mistakes and more sifat. When we get to the sifat, I'll talk more about common mistakes and maybe some words. Uh, so we say iyaka, not iyaka. No more that sound. Iyaka. How did we accomplish that? Just lower the tongue a little bit, separate the tongue from the top. That's all. So let's try it again. Adja over here. Adja asha ayya. All right. I uh, hope this explains it and uh, hope it helped you a little bit. Inshallah Taala. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments, and I do read. Uh, a few comments I mean not all but sometimes I read when I have time so if you have anything any question please leave it and I will get back to you inshallah Jazakumullah khair for watching Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh